take the home field advantage away from Miami in this bitter state rivalry. SEC 87 kicks off with the battle by the beach as Miami plays host to Florida. Miami, one of the most televised teams in America the last couple of years. Back deep for Miami, number three is Randall Hill. Number 21, Alex Johnson. Johnson at his goal line. Down at the nine. Steve Walsh, the quarterback, and a lot of the load will fall on the broad shoulders of fullback Melvin Bratton. He gave Florida more than they could handle last year. Gary Mahon, a, a very important player over there at the left side. Mahon is replacing the injured John O'Neill there. We'll keep a close watch on first down. Maybe a yard or two. The defensive line, Rondy Weston, Jeff Roth, and Henry Brown. Roth missed a lot of the ball practice with a sore lower back, but he's healthy and back now. The linebackers are led by Clifford Charlton. He's the pass rusher. Gerald Dixon playing in place of the injured Todd Gatlin. Jarvis Williams, an All-American candidate, leads a very good secondary. Handoff Warren Williams out to the 13 and not much more from the 14-yard line. Two receivers to the left of your screen, one up at the top for Miami. comes Charlton a shovel pass forward to Bratton out for the first down a heads-up play got proven didn't quite get there first pass it is complete for the 27 yard line to Warren Williams we'll call it the second pass because once you got a couple in the chest of a receiver you feel much better second down three here's Bratton Chased out of bounds on third down one. Here comes Williams in the backfield. Thrown for a five-yard loss. Big third down play. Look out. Big trouble. Out of the end zone for a safety. A big break for Florida. It is Florida with the two-to-nothing lead. You're watching SEC football on the Turner Broadcasting System. Kerry Watkins to the 46-yard line. So Florida gets a break. Irwin Bell will have Wayne Williams and Anthony Williams and a host of running backs back there. As a matter of fact, Octavius Gould is starting, but you'll see several players. David Williams, the best offensive lineman for Florida. A lot of other question marks there on the first down. Bell. It is complete to Simmons. Down for a loss of about a half a yard for the Miami Hurricanes, one of the best defenses in the country. Jimmy Jones, the man who has to replace Cilio, who was ruled ineligible late yesterday. Daniel Stubbs is the big playmaker on that defensive line. He's the sack leader with 30 career sacks for Miami. George Myra Jr., the heady leader at middle linebacker and All-American, Benny Blades leads an excellent secondary for the Hurricanes. It is second down. And we'll call it 10, a little longer than 10. It's been a tough call for it. Ball foul. Defense. Hey, but at Arkansas and Pittsburgh. Bell goes down. Third down five. Bell with a lot of time. It's complete for the first down to the 41-yard line. Octavius call me liquid Gould. Nickname. Gould now. Inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Second down, seven. Hit in the backfield, number 31, Gould. Dropped back here at the 45. And now it's third and 12, Gators, from the 44 of Miami. Hawkins jumping off on the right side of the defensive line. That is hand down. Still third down. Early. Galen Hall says we'll get better if we can avoid injuries. Later in the year, we'll be a lot stronger if we gain experience. Big snap to Bell. Nice grab. And Bell goes down at the 40. It's his old friend Danny Stubbs. You're coming from up the middle, but that one was all on his own. 
Jamie McAndrew with the punt. Cleveland Gary, a transfer from Georgia with the reception. Down to the 23-yard line. That, it's first down 10. The Hurricanes trailing 2-0. Hand off to the fullback, Warren Williams. Not much going out across the 25 to the 26. Miami sidelines. Miami in the orange jerseys. Florida in the orange pants. It's a sea of orange in the orange bowl. It went right off the arms of Charles Henry. Third down eight from the 26. Here comes the pass rush. There's Charlton in the face. It's complete to Bratton. Close to the first down. It'll depend on the spot. But you talk about pressure. Good snap this time. Peagles, the senior, has it almost blocked. It may have been touched. It's going to go out of bounds. Gets a good Miami bounce at the 38-yard line. With Florida. First down, 10. Florida from their own 33. Out to the 42-yard line. And that is the most highly recruited running back in the nation last year, Emmett Smith. A Borning. A Borning. I like that. Look that up. See if that's a real word. Uh, it must be. Not much. Wayne Williams stopped at about the 40. 5.46 to go first quarter. Florida leading 2-0 on a safety on the third down bell. Some pressure. Complete to Cedric Smith. Good job of running after the catch. Ben Cedric Smith, 39, goal 31, backfield for the Gators on first down 10. It's given the 39. Cedric Smith running hard, close to a first down. Stopped at the 35. Second down one from the 35. And off to the front man, it's Cedric Smith to the 27-yard line. The Butterflies, Bell for the audible, first and 10. Nice hole. Gould. Is that about 190? At least. Officer, I was only going 55, but that reminds me of. Second down, seven from the 25. Bell, the play fake, the pass. Incomplete over the outstretched arms of 39, Cedric Smith. Prior to moving up to second team. Third and seven from the 25. Bell in the pocket as a man. He got there late, broken up nicely by that excellent Miami defense. Donnie Ellis right there, along with Selwyn Brown. The field goal attempt by Robert McGinney is wide. It was a 42-yard attempt. Good as Michael Irvin. Uh, his, his final receivers they have, they're going to miss him on offense, and we'll get back to the rest of those in a minute. Steve Wolf. Richardson hits him as he releases it to Bratton. To the 40-yard line, Kerry Watkins with the tackle. Taking him on one-on-one. -on -one. Miami on the move. Wolf. Complete at the 25-yard line. Tried to get it to tight end Charles Henry on a safety. But the ball was snapped over Miami punter Jeff Beagle's head in and out of the end zone. And off to 24, Warren Williams. It does weaken him, and Brown had a problem with his ring finger, dislocated his finger, so he's not 100%. On third down, complete to Williams. To the 23-yard line, Warren Williams tackled by Jarvis Williams. Hurricanes started this drive on their own 26. They're down to the 23 of Florida. Walsh, good protection. Into the end zone. Coverage is there. The ball is caught by Brian Blades. Even though the coverage by Watkins was there, it's a touchdown, Miami. Florida going for two. They know about that. Uh, Miami going for two. They know about Florida's safety. Walsh, complete to Brian Blades. Blades responsible for eight points. First the touchdown, then the two-point conversion. For the throwing, uh, Miami throwing the football. Well coached group. Watch Brian Blades sliding up, going up for the ball. Watkins in good shape. Blades just hangs with it, makes the catch on the rebound. Talking to Testaverde, Kosar, and Kelly. Getting some more tips here. Maybe it's the uniform. Walsh oh, looking great. Kerry Watkins at his five for Florida. Big opening. He falls down goes down just outside the 35. Bell gives to Williams, Anthony Williams. Who, as Florida has dropped Miami from the schedule, is it controversial? You bet. Second and seven. Florida running again, penalty marker down. Ball foul, false start against the offense. The work. Bell has it second and 12 from his own 33. Complete. 
it would have been a first down. If he's not open, more often than not, he'll just back down. Third and 12. Bell has his man open. Incomplete, in and out of the arms of number 21, Daryl Woolard. And 25, takes the Miami. Andrew. Comes Gary. To the 33. First and 10 from the 34. Penalty markers go down. Clock expires. That's the end of the first quarter. Warren Williams carrying the ball. Ball foul, illegal procedure against the offense. Still three seconds left in this quarter. WSB. Atlanta. Bratton, one-handed catch. Nowhere to go. That, I promise you, will be the final play of the first quarter with Miami leading eight to two. You're watching SEC football on the Turner Broadcasting System. Steve Walsh, what a great start. The young, untested third-year third sophomore is having. It's complete to Michael Irvin. 4-5 speed. Bain, number 18. Uh, Lewis Oliver, number 18, drives him out of bounds on the far sideline. Ball is spotted at the seven-yard line. Miami leads 8-2, to two, first and goal. 65-yard pass completion. Walsh to Irvin. Walsh is going to throw it again. Who wouldn't? He's been so successful. Wanted to go to Irvin again. Incomplete in the end zone. You believe in defense. You don't believe in interference. I'm seeing the end. Seven. <laughs> Here's Warren Williams hitting the backfield at the 13-yard line. Jeff Roth, 96. Now it's third and goal from the 12 Miami. They lead 8-2. Early second quarter. Walsh. It's picked off. With the ball, Joey Nicoletto. First down 10, Gators. Inside their five, they just run it. Penalty marker is down. There's a story there about that young quarterback and Miami's young freshman will tell as we go along here. Florida having to remain very conservative inside their 10. Everyone could air it out here. Second down five at about the nine. Hit and dropped in the backfield, Anthony Williams. 12, 28 to go, second quarter. Tried to get it to Tony Lomack. Bell threw it behind. Line drive punt. Cleveland Gary has some room to run, but the great coverage is there. Florida pursues very well, and Gary goes down right about the 45-yard line. Played. Florida's points came on the safety. Bratton, the running back option pass. It's picked off. Number 18, Lewis Oliver at the 10-yard line. The second interception. First and 10, Gators on their own 11. Going to continue to run the ball. Out to about the 11-yard line and the first carry of his college career for number 22, Emmett Smith. Galen Hall says, you know, I've, I've seen the Greg Pruitts and the Joe Washingtons and the Billy Sims, and he looks as good as they did when they were entering their collegiate career, but he's especially on the corner. Third down, five Gators. Bell under pressure. Incomplete out to the 35-yard line. Buy him some more time. Hopefully these young guys can come open from a Florida standpoint. Jamie McAndrew got a good block there. That one might have been blocked. Cleveland Gary, down he goes at the 42. First and 10 Miami from the 41 of the Hurricanes. They lead 8-2. Here's Warren Williams. Hurricanes from the 43-yard line of Florida. 10.27 to go, second quarter. Bratton is dropped at the line of scrimmage. Really rising to the task today. Mark Murray's in there also, a redshirt freshman. Linebacker. Second down, 10 Hurricanes. Walsh with a checkoff. It's complete gain of only a couple of yards. That might be more effective against a potent offense like Miami. Third and seven. Irvin, good enough for the first down with a sore hamstring. We don't know whether or how much it slowed him down. Here comes Melvin Bratton. Look at the Florida coverage. Bratton stopped for no gain. Face mask, white team, 15 yard penalty, first down. And it's flagrant. First and 10 Hurricanes inside the Gator 25 yard line. Here comes Warren Williams. 
Jarvis Williams with a bone crushing stop that time. We have Brian Blades wide to the left side. Irvin wide to the right side on second down seven. They just run it into the middle. Third down five, Miami. Walsh is getting such good protection today. Almost picked off. Four of seven field goals last year. And he's one out of one in 1987. And now Miami takes an 11 to 2 lead with seven minutes, two seconds remaining in the first half. Edgar Benes kicking off number one. Kerry Watkins in his own end zone. Watkins to the 19-yard line. Don't do something to beat you at this point in the game. Florida started their last three drives at their own 4-11 and now 19. Bell has a man open this time. It is complete to 36. Anthony Williams out close to the first down. It is enough for the first down. From Stubbs, Bell gets it away anyway. Complete to Anthony Williams. Another first down to the 43-yard line. Tim. Yeah, but look and see if he's not... No, you're right. You're right. I was thinking that the man was in the air, but uh, he cer certainly wasn't. Billy Hawkins came around there and had an ability to pull off, at least make the contact less severe. Not much that time. It's Cedric Smith, 39. Second down, seven from the 39-yard line of Miami. And here they come. Bell just had to get loose. It's complete to Simmons. To the 30-yard line, first down, Florida. They're going to tack on more against Miami again for a pass, penalty. Defense, 15-yard, first down. Flagrant face mask. Let's see if we see it. Here's 25 is Stacy Simmons. Making your move right there, Simmons ought to go get the first down. After the play. Gators trail 11 to 2 to Coach Redmond. Much that time for 36 Anthony Williams. He was hit by Daniel Stubbs. Fumbled on the snap, fallen on by Miami. Hurricanes ball. George Myra Jr. fell on it. George gets the ball. From the 16, Miami gets the ball to Nice job on the run. Nine yards. They dodged the Gator bullet that time. On the turnover, Warren Williams gets the first down. A couple more yards. Out near the 30-yard line. Clock down to 316. Well, they could be, they will be, I think, what we're seeing here today, the, one of the best defenses the University of Miami's seen in a long, long time. Out to the 31-yard line. Right, yeah, so is that a run or a pass? It's obviously recorded as a pass, but... Good defensive play against Warren Williams. Third down 11 from the 23 down for the Hurricanes. Charles at 56 comes for Florida. He does, but they pick him up nicely. It's complete to Brian Blades. Blades is short of the first down, and a penalty marker is down. It was first held down, short been, of the first down. first down. But of course, the Miami fans would be saying, not Foley's, the Gators. I'm not for the Gators. Here for defensive backs, right. whatever jersey they're in. Here's Warren Williams with the reception. It's loose. Who's got it? It may have been fallen on by Brian Blades. We'll wait for the call. Florida football. The third hurricane turnover. First to 10 Florida, trailing Miami 11 to 2. Florida had a 66 yard drive going previously and lost it on the fumble. Bell goes long as his man. Stacy Simmons, incomplete. They say he stepped out of bounds. It'll be second down 10 from the 34. Florida, 57 seconds to go in the half. Here comes Stubbs. And they're going to penalize Kerwin Bell for trying to throw the ball and intentionally ground it. Kerwin just tries to unload it. Down, a third down, we'll wind the clock on the ring. They're going to have a good match up there. Third and 22. It's 96, Daniel Stubbs. In the first half. Miami's coming after the punt. Jimmy McAndrews gets it away. Not a very good one. Cleveland Gary. Excellent Florida coverage on the punt so far today. They've been right down there. And I think 38 of them had ever played an actual snap of college football, so they're really young. 
Walsh airing it out. Nice pass. Couldn't be handled by Alfredo Roberts, number 87. It's in a field generalship advantage. Second down, 10. Walsh, he's going to take it long. Nobody's home. Throws it out of bounds. And the time expires. Ending the first half of play. In the final meeting until 1992 of the Miami Hurricanes and the Florida Gators, they have two quarters left. Hurricanes 11, Florida 2. This came back with a two-point conversion to Blades and then a 37-yard field goal by Cox. Benes with the kickoff. Watkins will touch it down in the end zone and Florida will come out to their 20-yard line. Horatio Benny Blades back to the 35. Most consecutive games with an interception, five. Here comes Warren Williams. Driving to the 30-yard line. Harry gets everybody in the right spot. Second down four, Warren Williams. Close to the first down. Miami leading 11-2. Third and one at the 27. Double tight ends. Broken play, short of the first down. Cox hit a 37-yarder earlier. He's a senior from Fort Lauderdale. Miami's leading 11-2. And it's good. Greg Cox, two for two to start 1987. A 44-yarder, and it's 14-2. The Hurricanes over the Gators. 12-50 to go, third quarter. Off. It comes down to number 36, Anthony Williams. Probably not a wise idea to Kerwin Bell has Woolard, number 21 on the left side, and 725 on the right side, hands to the tailback of Tavius Poole. Out of second down now. Overthrew his receiver. And they're all good. Bain Blades, Brown, Ellis, and Bubba McDowell. Third and nine from the 15 of Florida. Trailing 14 to two. Incomplete intended for Odom. Coverage by linebacker 22, Randy Shannon. He dropped balls, but just the ones I can remember. That's four. Almost blocked. Here's a heads-up play by McAndrew, but a great defensive play by the Hurricanes. We are back. They did not call timeout down on the field for the commercial break. There was a running play. Warren Williams just got a couple of yards. Because that ball would have been a touchdown or a safety, as you mentioned. Warren Williams inside the 15 to the 13. He's 10.42 to go third quarter. Miami 14, Florida 2. On the third down, Bratton hit hard. It came loose incomplete. He did not have possession. Big tackle. So far, two for two. He's hit a 37 and a 44-yard field goal. This one's right down the middle. 17 to 2, Miami. You're watching SEC football on the Turner Broadcasting System. Florida's only score has been a safety. First and ten from the 20 Gators. Here's Emmett Smith, the rookie, close to the first down. Second down, about one. Emmett Smith, first down. Oh, he's a beast. To the 36, first down, Emmett Smith. Stephen says it looks like he's getting a couple of yards, and I look up and he's got five, and that happened last time. This time, nothing. And he runs into 96, Danny Stubbs, welcoming Emmett Smith into big time. Second down, 12. Well, completes it out here to the 40-yard line. It is a first down, and Emmett Smith with the reception. It's not a first down. It's a mid stop. Third down, about six. Picked off.
plays the pass extremely well. Made a nice move on that. Point after is good. Miami 24, Florida 2. 7.58 to go, third quarter. And here's Shannon. Ending a series that began back in 1938. We're getting a measure of revenge here. Harry Watkins will touch it down to the end zone. But Dave Wastead's got himself a handful of good players. Well, has time this time. It's complete to number 23, Wayne Williams. <laughs> 39, Cedric Smith, a couple of yards. Then they just came back strong and won 11 in a row. And they had a very strong defense then. Second down, seven. This one's complete for the first down over the near sideline. And, well, North Carolina pounded Illinois today. North Carolina considered one of the leading contenders for the ACC championship, along with Clemson and Georgia Tech. And delay of the game is going to be the call. The 25-second clock, 38 to 16. Bell there he just threw it away 539 to go third quarter third down 13 Gators from their own 41 it's complete to number 80 Mark McGriff the first big completion of the day came off the field number 36 looks to be okay we'll check on him Emmett Smith sees nothing Finds a little bit, about a oh, yard there, there, for the freshman. By the way, we understand on quarterback Steve Walsh, there's the Alabama score, early lead. Steve Walsh bruised knee. That was not his hand. The ice pack was on his hand, which was on his knee, which is injured. Bell almost had it picked off. He was under tremendous pressure. Penalty marker down. Third down, 35. Almost picked off again. Emmett Smith was the man in the pass pass. The number 12 is getting killed. Keep running. That hurricane punt rush is back there again. Cleveland Gary at his 11. Florida chases him out of bounds. Brett. Not much. He's got quality players. And uh, last, this last season... Miami leading 24 to 2. 349 to go, third quarter. Cleveland Gary. Thrown for a loss. Cleveland Gary's O'Neill has come in, although he went through double surgery in the spring, has played well. Walsh under pressure. And he's going to go down at the 13-yard line. And because he can come too. Look at this. It snapped out of the end zone again for another safety. Florida with four points. And Willis. Pagis, the long snapper, number 58, has snapped it through the end zone twice today. That's further than some quarterbacks can throw it. Mississippi State, LSU, they've got a tough one. It's out of bounds on the free kick. It goes out of the... There, Beagles hits this a ton. Safety, and that's the story. 24 to 4. It is incomplete. As he gets it, it is second down 10. Florida of their own 25 yard line. Bell under pressure, having to run it out of there. Trying to get the first down, it'll be close. Dead ball foul after the first down was made. Late hit against the offense, it'll be first down 25. Okay. And on the sideline for the Hurricanes. Bell can't find anybody. There he goes again. Short of the first half. Took a big hit at the 35. Third down, 11. It is complete for the first down. In 
inside the 50. The receiver, Willie Sneed. 17 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Trying to keep him honest and run. Nothing at all. Well, that's the end of the third quarter. Miami 24, Florida 4. You're watching SEC football on the Turner Broadcasting System. Second down, 11. Complete out there to the running back. Uh, third and one. Wayne and Anthony Williams in the backfield. Bell keeps it and dives forward. First down. Gators inside the Miami 40. Second down three from the 32, closer to four yards. Bell with some time this time, can't find anybody. Now does, it's complete to Stacy Simmons. Oh, what a day. Simmons out of bounds on the near sideline at fifth. 13-11 to go in the ballgame. Miami with a 20-point lead. Not much off right tackle. Anthony Williams, the ball. Second down nine. Interception by 29, Don Ellis. Four Florida turnovers. Three interceptions have come in the second half. Now Miami has an opportunity to just run that ball. Second down, six. Tough pass there, the little turnout. It's complete. Brian Blades. Miami in a position with some strong players getting a chance to support the quarterback. And off Bratton. Well, Melvin Bratton has been bottled up all day long. Here, knowing that the very excellent Jeff George was here. So Erickson's a competitor. Complete. For the first down to Charles Henry, the tight end. Steve Walsh was one for two passing the ball. And it's the only experience that he had had. Now he comes in and is close to 200 yards in the air today. 10-22 to go in the game. It is complete at the 44. You know, the rap is that he doesn't have the cannon arm, although these out patterns he's throwing do have some good velocity and snap on them. Pops it over the middle to Pratt. Pratt the first down. Pratt out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Walsh up 227 yards in the air today. What an opening game he's having. had turned in second and ten from the yard line. Bratton leaving Jerry in the backfield. Complete to Bratton. Down to the five yard line. Mark Murray with next week Tennessee and Mississippi State. 10 for Irvin. Penalty markers are down. Mr. Birdie on. Interesting, Ty Smith went to recruit him in Jacksonville, met his sister, and married her. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a great recruiter. Yes. yes. Standing and, and thinking about the two snaps into the end zone. He was just practicing. <laughs> Near touchdown, but Bratton fell down. Third down nine from the 14-yard line. Miami leading 24-4, 8-16 to go in the ballgame. Here's Cleveland Gary to the one. Touchdown! They say his knee did not touch. Cleveland Gary with the extra effort and another Miami touchdown. Beautiful block by Proven there, and now it's Cleveland Gary. Lewis Oliver can't hang on. He looked down to me, but maybe not. His leg may not have touched the turf. Could be a good call by the official. It's good. 31 to 4. Well, Miami is angry at the Gators for dropping the series. Florida's going to have five years to have to think about this pounding today. You're watching SEC football on Turner Broadcasting System. Is going to receive for Florida. Tony Lomax's nickname is Tilo. Former running back. It's just 5'8. 
came loose at the 22-yard line. Even though his weight was all on it, none of the other parts of his body maybe hit the turf. That probably the technical ruling being was technically accurate. <laughs> right. Bell. Incomplete. Trying to hold on to that hot pigskin. Now they're looking at other receivers. Number one, Ed Frazier's in there. Here's the draw to 36, Anthony Williams. About three yards. Open Octavius Gould, big gainer here to the 45-yard line. Three of them in the ball game on first down 10 for Erwin Bell. Comes out the pocket, throwing on the run, almost picked off by George Myra Jr. To get the next one, second down 10. Once again, more problems on the exchange. Erwin Bell falls on it. Temperature has been up in the low 90s. Really much hotter than that right down on the field. Bell again, all kinds of problems. This time it's number 94, Greg Mark. Davis, the defensive line coach, has played Mark and Maryland and Jimmy Jones. Penalty marker as the on-rushing hurricane bumped in to 16, Jamie McAndrew. I think it was Robert Bailey who had. We'll keep you posted on the injury to Kerwin Bell's right shoulder. Scano's coming out firing. It's complete for Octavius Gould to the 40-yard line. And, uh, that's what they're checking right there. You say that as though you know it from personal experience. You see my stripes? It's complete for a first down pass to the 34-yard line. That's just great to be around, uh, pleasant, kind, patient with all the reporters and media. Scano was looking for Ernie Mills. Thank you. What a game he's had today. He's been quiet of late because he hasn't needed to. But when the pressure was on, Danny Stubbs was all over the Florida quarterback. Well, the coaches will know when they look at the ever popular team, Phil. Lascano on third and ten. He's got pressure. He completes it to tight end Clifton Reynolds, short of the first down. Lascano. Complete to the tight end, Clifton Reynolds. 31 goal, 39 Cedric Smith in the backfield. Lascano in the end zone, and it was dropped by Willie Sneed. He was the Lascano averts the rush. It's picked off. Another interception. Donald Ellis with his second interception of the day. It'll be a touchback and come out to the 20-yard line is Craig Erickson. He's a true freshman, his first play as a college athlete from Atlantis Cardinal Newman High School, Atlantis, Florida. Erickson handing off to Cleveland Gary. Bounces it outside and gets no yardage. He's got the skills of those three prior superstars. So again, and again, as you said, not discounting what Steve Walsh has done today. Fred Tough loose over there, but I believe it may change. I'm a competitor. I'm coming anyway, coach. I want to go to Miami. I take the scholarship. He's here. Jeff George transferred to Illinois. Completes his first pass. Out to the 33-yard line to Andre Brown. Some confusion there in the Florida backfield. Erickson telling him where to go. Just keeps it, sneaks it probably knew that nobody knew what the call was. <laughs> Police dog down in the east end zone has got a hold of a gator and is tearing it up. <laughs> that is running the clock out now. 45 seconds left in the game. As you just try to get him behind you as fast as you can. Learn from the lessons and go on. Erickson. Gee, look at that arm. Oh, incomplete. But you can see the power of the... When they need him, they'll play him and... Uh, will be learning the system. It's a difficult system to pick up here. That'll be a penalty against Miami. We're given notice that they are back and contenders again. is down. This game is over. Miami 31. Florida 4.